Hello my friends, welcome to my channel, Bringer of Light Intuitive. I'm Cindy, so glad that you are here. Thank you so much for being here. This is a Who Am I Reading For reading, where I get a message from Spirit and you tell me who I'm reading for. Okay, welcome in or welcome back. If you are new here, definitely let me know in the comments below. Let me know that you are new and say hello. And if you are returning, welcome back. I appreciate you all comment below and let me know how this reading resonates and who I'm reading for. Let's go ahead and dive in. All right. I got a new deck today, guys. We're breaking it in. So let's see, where are we going? We've got the five of swords and the knight of pentacles. I feel like I'm talking to somebody who I spoke to the other day that was, is just kind of in your head about how long something is taking. So what I'm seeing here is I've got the nine of wands here too and i feel like so the nine of wands for me as a reader is the this is something that's not quite healed in you yet it's like an open wound your that energy remember everything is energy and energy is everything and that energy that you're sending out is from some wounded place so the reason why things are taking so long is because you are you're it's like it's giving you time to heal it's giving you time to to fix that energy because there's something that is active in you an active wound in you that is sending out this energy and we create with the energy that we send out with our thoughts our beliefs and the energy that we're sending out this is what we get back the universe has no choice but to mirror back to us what it is that we're sending out. That's the law of attraction. That's how things work. The universe has no choice but to mirror back to you the energy that you are sending out. So it's really important for us to fix the energy on the inside. And I feel like this, this thing, whatever this is, this could be anything. With the Knight of Pentacles, it's been on its way to you for a really long time. And right now, you are in this feeling of is it ever going to come? So we've got the five of swords. And for me in this moment, the five of swords is you like doubting, questioning, wondering what the heck, you know, when is my day ever going to come? You're coming from a place of lack. Okay, guys, you're coming from a place of lack. So if you are finding yourself in this energy, it is from some something in you that is a wound from the past that is still active. And that's the energy that you are sending out. 93% of all communication is nonverbal. Can you imagine? 93% of all communication is nonverbal. There's 7% that that is only your words that you speak, you know, in communication. Wow, I'm all over the place. But 93% of it is energy. You're sending out this energy no matter if you feel it, no matter if you're conscious of it, no matter what. It's the wounded energy. So this is unfolding in a long period of time for you to go within and heal those wounds. What is it in you that is, um, that is attaching to whatever your story is taking a long time to unfold, whether this is love, whether this is money, whatever this is that is happening, that is putting you in your head, what is it about how you're feeling, you're being triggered. So what is coming up for you? You want to identify what that is because that will tell you something that needs to be looked at in you, something that is an active wound that needs your attention. And it's this is teaching you a really valuable lesson to not come out of lack, sorry, to not spend the energy that you have on lack. Because when you're coming from a place of lack, you're going to get more lack. And so the universe loves you so much that it's making you wait <laughs> so that you can pay attention to what is coming up for you so that you can fix it and you can send out the energy of abundance. So right now, as you are watching this reading, what is coming up for you when you think about how long something is taking? Something is about to shift. And it's going to shift when you shift on the inside. This is a very specific message for someone very specific that is really, really struggling with how long something is taking. So it's like you're identifying with 
the lack of it. So therefore, how can you show up for yourself and make you feel yourself, feel prioritized, feel important, feel chosen, feel valued, feel whatever it is that you feel you're lacking. If this is love coming in and you're feeling that, that this is taking forever, then that means you are you have a lack of love. You've got some sort of a, a wound. You've got some sort of a, a void in your heart and you think that this love is going to fill that void. You think that this love coming in is going to make you feel whole or feel valuable or feel chosen or feel loved or feel happy. You're putting your future happiness on this thing. And so the big lesson here right now is to let go of that lack, that need for that thing and give to yourself. How can you show up for yourself today? When we're manifesting anything, the goal is to be okay with or without it. That's the goal. So your goal here today is to heal that wounded part of you and be okay with or without this thing. Because when you can get to a place where you are good with or without it, I'm good, I'm good universe. I put this in your hands. Thank you for handling it for me. I am good with or without it because I am showing up for myself. I'm doing for myself every day things that make me feel happy with people who make me feel happy watching movies that make me laugh, reading good books, whatever it is that my hobbies are that I can enjoy and the people that I can enjoy as well while this is all coming together because something is literally coming together very fast. It doesn't seem that way, but it's it's almost like the universe is waiting for you to, to identify that wound and because that's the energy you're sending out. So you're gonna continue to get that energy back. All right, so let's dive in to a spread and see what wants to come through. I see the Nine of Swords, and that's you being in that energy of overthinking and putting your happiness on this thing. How can you show up for yourself and be happy without this thing? How can you be good with it without it? That's the goal. That's the goal that we all have to get to when we're manifesting something, when we're praying for something, we're asking for something. That's the goal that we need to get to. So there it is, the Nine of Swords coming in and Temperance. See, Temperance is bringing in balance. Temperance is you finding patience, you finding contentment in the waiting. While the universe is mixing all the pieces of your puzzle together, the universe is literally mixing, or the, the angels are mixing the Two of Cups together. I've got the Ace of Cups right here on the bottom of the deck. There is something coming. There is something coming in, and it's literally closer than you think. But in your, when you're in your head about it, you're not in patience. You're not in balance. You're coming from a place of imbalance. You're coming from a place of wound and void. So we need to take care of that. It's screaming for your attention on the inside of you and allowing the, the situation to unfold. Let me see what's here. The devil is here. Okay, and the two of swords in the, in the heart of the spread and the five of wands, that's a lot of internal con uh, conflict. See, in the heart of the spread, we have the two of swords. It's keeping you blocked. This is the heart of everything. And it, it's something on the inside of you that's keeping you blocked from what you want. So it's needing your attention so that we can free it up. We can free your heart. We can open your heart to be able to give and receive what it is that you're asking for. Now, I'm kind of feeling like this is a love situation, but it literally could be anything. It could be a job situation. It could be you know, something having to do with your finances. It could be a move. It could be a legal situation. Whatever it is, you take it how it fits and you comment below and let me know how this red reading resonates for you. Who am I reading for? But the, the bottom line here is that there's some sort of void in your heart. It's keeping you stuck. It's literally blocking what it is that you want. You can't see it and you can't receive it. See how she's blindfolded, but she's also blocking her heart. It's making it impossible for you to receive. And we want to go from that energy to the eight of, eight of Wands and the Six of Swords energy of positive movement. Fast, 
positive movement. We want peace. We want balance. We want to come out of the storm and we want to come into the sun and peace and balance and fast forward movement and lots of communication coming in <laughs> and being busy and being successful. This is the energy that we want. Guess what? This is in the, your outcome. So I do see you getting the getting control over this internal conflict that you have going on. So this energy, look at the devil in this deck. Isn't he just gross? <laughs> this is my new deck. It's keeping you stuck, okay? This energy of lack is keeping you stuck. And it's, it's become an, like an unhealthy attachment. And whenever we put our happiness on something or someone else, that's an unhealthy attachment. It's out of balance. Balance is we are two whole healed people or we are, we are good with or without what it is that we're manifesting and it comes in because it's attracted to you. When you're in that energy, you're attracting abundance. You're magnetic to abundance. When you're in the energy of lack, you're going to get something like this because it is an unhealthy attachment and it is an out of balance attachment that is keeping you stuck in a loop of attracting in things that just keep reiterating that wound. People, places, and things that keep reiterating that wound. All right, I've got the magician here. You have the power. You have the power to create whatever it is that you want. It's a must for you to go in and address what it is that's coming up for you. It's a must to, re, to, to reprogram that thinking and to show up for you in a way that makes you feel full and complete and good with or without this. Like you can literally say that and mean it. I'm good with or without this. Thank you universe for handling this for me. Thank you that it is coming in at its own perfect timing for me. I am not late. I am not lacking. I trust that all my needs are being met. I trust that everything is always working out for me. And I trust that this situation is also working out for me in its own perfect timing and its own perfect way. The magician is a brand new beginning. This is also you being in your power to create. It is, it is you that has the power. It's you that has the wand. It's you that can create and magnetize this energy that you're waiting for. It's you that can, that can create this. There's also a new beginning in communication that's, that's here with this energy and I see it flourishing and being something very beautiful. When you get this energy taken care of here, it's going to unfold in a really beautiful way. I feel like you are literally letting go of this old way, that internal struggle, and you, you You've got the Ace of Wands here in your hand and you're going in a new direction, a new direction of, of attraction, of magne magnetism, magnetizing that success to you, whatever this is. Person, place, or thing, whatever it is that you're asking for, you're literally magnetizing it to you by your energy. <laughs> and you're going in a whole new direction. So I see you leaving this energy behind and I see you going in a new direction and I see you opening that space that has been stuck and getting in your boat and getting out of the storm and coming into peace and balance and things working out. Let's get some more energy here. So what is, what is the outcome? Assuming that my friend here takes care of that little situation on the inside. Oh, I've got the Nine of Cups. <laughs> I've also got the, the Empress. Oh my gosh, yes, yes, so much yes. The Nine of Cups and the Empress. Abundance, she is magnetic to all of abundance. She's magnetic to abundance from everywhere. There is unlimited new beginnings, unlimited potential in the Empress. Unlimited potential for love, for abundance. She is abundance and she literally doesn't chase abundance. She just attracts it and she expects it and she's good with or without it. 
because she knows she is abundant. So she's in that energy. She's sending out the energy of abundance and she's getting back the energy of abundance. People are chasing her down. She's magnetizing. All, mag all potential of abundance. That literally, the Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. So she's magnetizing her wish fulfillment to her at all times because she is good with or without it. She is a healed whole empress who knows that she was created to be abundant. She, was, she knows that she was created to be successful. She knows that she is love. Therefore, she was created to love. She literally attracts it to her. I don't chase, I attract. The more I relax, the more I receive. The energy that came out for you in the beginning is not a relaxed energy. This is not relaxed. It's a lot of swords. It's a lot of being in your head. Okay, so let's see, is there anything else? Yeah, I've got the five of pentacles here. That is literally the lack card. You're in the energy of lack and it's because you can't see what you want and you're putting your future happiness on that thing, whatever it is. But you are going to get control. You are going to get the victory over this. This five of wands here turns into the six. It's you getting victory over that cycle. You have the victory over that cycle. You know, at the time of recording this, we do have a big giant moon this week. The Aries full moon. It's the biggest moon of the entire year. It is fiery. <laughs> There's lots of fire in these cards. It is fiery, but it's also a moon of conclusion. It is concluding the eclipse season that started last March, April, I want to say. And it is coming to conclusion this with this full moon so much change and so much peeling away of all those wounds and all the stuff that has been holding us back. This is the end. It's like the climax where we're letting go and we're getting control. We're getting victory over that cycle so that we can move forward and we can create something so much better for our lives because nothing is holding us back and we're not coming from a place of lack. We're not sending out that lack energy anymore. So I see you getting control. I see you getting the victory. I see you stepping into your power. I see you getting what you want. There's a little bit of work that you gotta do first. Okay? It just does, doesn't just go away. You gotta take care of it. So comment below and let me know how this reading resonated for you. Who am I reading for today? Thank you so much for being here. If you want to take a look at this situation in a more personal way, Personal readings are always available in my description for now. Anyway, they're available in the description of every single video. You can go to my Calendly and schedule your reading. You can also reach out to me on Instagram, bringer of light 333 and talk to me or email me. That is in the uh, description box below too. Let me know who's here that's new. Say hello and I welcome you. Thank you so much for being here.